Gorilla Tag has a problem. A disease, a cancer in the community. A league of hackers using stolen information to actively track high profile targets. They orchestrate attacks by spreading hate and utilizing vulnerabilities in Gorilla Tag's code to create systems that will disrupt, lag, and crash the server's infrastructure. Koala, Bandy Nation Specialist, Player Tracker, Creator of Player Track, Unheard, DZ, Mod Menu Creators, Rando, Unknown, and at the center of the operation, J3VU. 5.05, Monday, June 6th. I was live streaming. Nothing out of the ordinary, but then he joined. Oh god! Oh my god! How- I- How is this hunt? Why am I lagging? This is infection, not hunt! What's going on? You turn it back! That guy's lagging the server and he made it hunt. Oh my god. He- he's- he's wrecking the server. I need to get out of here. I feel like my IP is getting pulled. That, that was terrible. That was just awful. What the hell was that? I am so confused. I thought I was the only one too. I thought it was an isolated incident. Until I saw BMT's video and I heard a familiar voice. No, that's not a run. This is what we're doing. Styled snail. How did I get in here? I must have guessed your code. TTT pig. Even J Man currently. Oh, is this the mofo that was, dude? These freaking modders, they joined the lobbies early with the code. They have this like server tracker and they bug out the lobby and they take all these. It's so annoying. So, who is J3VU? It's early fall 2021. A 16 year old boy from Denmark takes note of the Gorilla Tank creepypasta craze and he decides that using his online alias, he'll make his own creepypasta. He contacts a close friend to make a mod menu, and then... I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah. Wait, how did we get... Cool. How did you get tagged? Yeah. He's back! Wait, wait, wait. Start recording! Wait, I'm... Re I'm recording. There's someone there, there's someone there, there's someone there. What? I got kicked, I got kicked. Wow. Now that we know who, you probably want to know why. Keep in mind that since his creepypasta days, J3VU's motives have definitely changed. He's either doing it for the money through mod sales by Unheard or through Koala selling a band evasion software, or the lols, or he's just upset about the state of the game like most people seem to be. Lucky us though, because we don't need to speculate much longer. That's because I've had an interview with J3VU, the man himself. How's it going, JVU? Oh, that is so. I'm good. So uh, I don't know if you remember this, uh, this clip or not. Right here. Yeah, we do. I Yeah, I, I believe. Yeah, I, I remember that. So I decided to do some more digging, and I think that I have found out quite a bit. I know you're clever, because, like, you know how to set up driver for VR and you, you're, you're smart, I know. So go ahead, ask your questions. To my understanding, and to everyone who may be watching this video, so that way they're tracking, you are the real J3VU. You yeah. are the creator. I mean, hell, yeah, it, I am. It, it's not even a creepypasta, it's just you so, yeah it was actually because i i met chipped like a long time ago and i was like holy shit, this guy literally skyrocketed that pbbb thing like in what a week and had like 200k views and i was like what if i do that but i i, I add mods and i add a soundboard so like i got banned and i quit and i just going out more started like talking to people i came back like six months after the video had like 400k views and i was like what the 
Or yeah, I, I am the original, yeah. Is there any uh, guilt with not being directly credited for that? If you go into my lobby, it's nearly always full. That's like the funniest feeling, like, you know? It's six months ago and people are like filling it up and it, it's kind of cool, but I, I don't have a guilt over not being credited. I just like watch seeing it grow is it, fun. To my understanding, there are six people total involved with your group. Um, or what you way guys, more. oh way more we have player tracker and i'm guessing that he created the player tracker yeah really talented coder he is crazy he's really talented i know that there's a lot of speculation with how that works does it work by tracking or is i can't a... i can't disclose that it's uh, very private i'm sorry and then is any of that ever going to go public or is that always going to be um i don't think so private. it's probably just going to be in our little you know like friend group uh, yeah it's not going to be public like no all right and then i also wanted to talk about motives as to why you guys are are doing it so it's it's mainly because we 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 don't feel like there's enough like you know lemmy doesn't put enough into the game like he does not care about anybody but like yeah, well, jayman curly and bmt he really doesn't like he only cares about his free advertisement and then he does not about the players the four months i've quit i've not seen a single good other and that's mostly like why we did all this stuff it was to like contact them you know and like give them a heads up and also for the laws because like like who doesn't want power I'm like what you guys haven't gotten any any type of response like directly have you uh yeah actually pig you know the mod pig, yeah, pig. he was in a lobby and I, I joined to like speak with him he wanted it gone and then like and then i told him to hit me in the head with the stick but I, I, we didn't delete the player tracker but that's like probably the only close like the closest thing we got so do you feel that with with you actively targeting content creators i know that the objective is to spread awareness but do you feel as though you're somewhat prematurely you know almost like escalating the the death of the game i don't feel like we're escalating the death we just want to spread the awareness to like do an update and like revive it again it's so dead in every video that i see that has you guys in it whether it's style snail talking about it or or vmt it always seems like that isn't being properly communicated no i don't i don't feel like we're communicating with words but we're still communicating with action vmt even like when we were in the lobby i was speaking to him and he he like opened up you know he said he he dm'd lemming like multiple times to like do this and do that but lemming just ignores him he only answers jay like jay man nobody else he, he just he wants the free advertisement and vmt also said something about the prices for like the shiny rocks being too high so vmt really did like not give a about us running around crashing lobbies. I don't know why he made a video about it, but he he told me he did not give a yeah, It's uh, it's very interesting. Any gripes, complaints, or anything else? Um, I, I, I don't really have any complaints other than like, please update your game and make it like, you know, interesting for people. But majority of them, of them are kids and like, you, you can't make a rule for not being toxic. Like, it's a tag game. There's always going to be toxicity. Like, I, I feel like the guy's banning people for four weeks for saying at the game. But yeah, that's a, that's about it. I don't really have anything to say other than like, let me listen to people. Like, like take feedback, you know. Gorilla Tag is not dying. Lemmings does not owe us a thing. The people who started to say it is dying are content creators who rely on updates for content. Gorilla Tag is one of the most popular free VR games, so cosmetic sales are needed to keep the many game servers running. Hacking G Tag will only make Lemmings focus more on patching those hacks, not making new content. I just wish for it to, you know, die down, and I want to play the game normally, and I, you know, hope you guys can understand that. So that, and then he says, we put in a message to Lemming. Well, you put in a message to Lemming. No, uh, not, I, I didn't do that. I'm, I'm not under your umbrella. You don't, you don't own me, buddy. I do my own thing, big dog. So he gets like, uh, the guy that's crashing into a lobby and he just censors everything and he doesn't remotely like convey like what they're saying. He just leaves it up to like interpretation, which is kind of like, what's the entire point of that part of the video? <laughs> 